guys, great to have you back. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Margaret. I am from the Netherlands. I do paper crafting, junk journaling, junk journal related project and the occasional vintage treasure hunting. It is wonderful to be back because I didn't think I was going to be here today. Um, today, I want to have a play with you. Yeah, I, this is not going to be a tutorial or anything like this. This is an idea that I want to work out on camera. So uh, let me tell you a little bit about it. I already have some bits and bobs on my uh, desk. I want to do something sort of black and white-ish, but also with a pop of color. Uh, and the idea is this. I have this, um, let's call it a photo album. Is this a photo album or a card album? I found this in a thrift shop. Uh, it has lots of these pages. What am I gonna do with it? I don't know. Well, I think I have an idea. Um, I'm going to take out a page and make some sort of pockets out of them. Let me show you. I already sort of played around with it. Um, yeah, cut them out and fold this over and have some sort of an acetate uh, pocket here and here. I was thinking. And then, um, because there are three compartments in here, I think I want to have one pocket that folds like so. And then the other one are going to be like a um, sort of a folder where the pockets fold like this. So you have basically, let's say, uh, two. Yeah, that you can fold it open. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Uh, so why is it not this not a tutorial? Because, well, you need to have these. Uh, if you have these, yay. If you don't have these, maybe you have some sort of other um, photo album that has these acetate pockets. Or maybe you can, you know, do something with CD envelopes. Well, as long as it has the acetate pockets. So I'm going to use these. I'm going to use um, bits and bobs. And what I really want to use are these stickers. These shiny sort of acetate stickers that I have. Uh, I keep buying them because I think they're really, really lovely. But I don't like them glued on, uh, you know... Uh, this paper because it's shiny and but this is already shiny so in that way it doesn't bother me so i have these black and whites i have more i have mushrooms yes so mushrooms and these beautiful blue flowers so one two three pockets i think i want to make sort of pockets that will hold these stickers and that i can decorate with these stickers makes any sense does to me. So, um, before I get started on this, I want to share a small happy mail, a, a surprise happy mail from a viewer. And I have a list of people that I need to thank for buying all my beautiful digis on my Kofi account. So first my list, I want to thank Anne, Marjorie, Carrie, Lee, Judith, Joan, Elsie and Yvonne. Thank you so much ladies for purchasing um, my kits on um, Kofi and for all your support. So yay, thanks ladies. And now I have to uh, thank Saskia. Saskia is a subscriber here and on Instagram and also a customer on my Instagram account. Saskia sent me a message and told me I found a lot of horses uh, poster stamps. Are you interested? Can I send you some? And I was like, yeah, sure. That's so nice. Thank you very much. And then I got an email from um, the delivery service, DHL, that told me your parcel will be arriving uh, tomorrow. <laughs> I'm like, parcel? How many horse stamps are you sending me? But she sent me a whole happy mail. Thank you so much, sweetheart. I unpacked it a little bit, but not a lot. So I'm going to do that with you guys. There we go. And she packed everything really, really nicely. So I'm trying to carefully unpack this. So yeah, I have a whole bunch. And um, I just read the little note that's, that said, well, this is Happy Mail. Love this card. Isn't that cute? Yeah, really, really beautiful. So let's just see. And let's start with this one. Oh, love the baker's twine and the little clamp here. So, oh, let's see, how do I open this? So I didn't open it up. I open it up just like so. <laughs> a small little pocket made of out of a doily. Never seen that. And it has compartments. So lovely. So let's see. There's some poster stamps in here. These are not the horse ones. But 
Uh, they're probably somewhere else. Really nice. Love poster stamps, as you may know. And then here we have some small bits and bobs. Ooh, flower fairies. And the sticker. I love these little, little sort of pieces of ephemera. Cute little tag. And a label. Oh, look at that one with the horse. Yes, that's that's going into the horse uh, lover's journal for sure. Oh, I love labels. And it's a sticker as well. Great. There's more in here. There's lace. Very lovely. I don't have that one. Really love it. And then there's... Oh, there's the stickers. She had stickers uh, for closures. And she, uh, pro she probably inked it and then stamped it. That is so cute. With the butterflies and flowers. Thank you so much. And a small pocket. Did you follow my tutorial, Saskia? <laughs> I made these um, on a tutorial one day. Yeah. Then this one. Lovely envelope. Oh, there are puzzle pieces in here. Oh, that's so cute. Now I need to do something with puzzle pieces. Yeah. Yes, definitely going to do that. Love the envelope. Look. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Let's do this one. I love the packaging, uh, Saskia. I love that. Ooh, yes. Little notes. Cambozola. That's the cheese. And I happen to love the cheese. <laughs> and now I'm hungry. Well, you know me. Talking about food makes me hungry. Cute little sort of coin pocket thingy. What's inside here? Let's see. Oi. Beautiful small birds. Are these stickers? No, they're fuzzy cuts. Love them. They would look so good on um, tickets that I'm going to make soon. Very cute. Oh, beautiful. Look at these. Oh, that's sort of old stationery. This is stationery. Wow. Uh, hummingbirds, right? In Dutch, they're called colibris. And the horsey. That's a great book. What book is this? Wow. Those are lovely. I need to make a second horse journal now. Love. I'm, I'm even keeping this because, you know, that to me is lovely. Another big envelope with sticker made out of uh, music paper and she's sewn it. Yeah, not jealous at all. What is this? Ooh, I love this. Um, I have something similar to this with flowers on them. This is not scented. I have some that is scented. Isn't that great? I don't know what it's used for. Um, some of it is used for uh, cupboards, for lining on the... I, I think so. I don't know. I don't know exactly. Maybe you know, guys. Maybe you know. Thank you so much. Now, this will probably be the post-it stamps. That was what I was expecting. A couple of post-it stamps. <laughs> but she sent me a whole happy mail. Love the paper. Ooh, look at that. Beautifully made. Beautifully made. Oh, with the... With a feather and... Wow! That looks great, Saskia. Really, it does. Do I want to open it like this? Can I sort of... Oh, I want to carefully open this because I want to repurpose everything on here. Let's see. That is one big page. Oh, it's two. Oh, did you do my sort of trick? With the, yeah, <laughs> good good for you, Saskia. Yeah, that's the, the envelopes that I made. This is a page and this is a page. And then you put them together. Oh, yes, these are beautiful. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, I love them. I'm not going to cut these up. I'm going to make this into a journal card, probably. And then what else do we have in here? So cute. Oh, and then she made these. Lovely. What book is this? You need to tell me. Because now I want this book. Open. Is this a harmonica thingy? Oh, no, it's tea. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Yeah, well, I can have a cup of tea now. Really cute. 
I love your packaging. That's really, really nice. It took, uh, this took a lot of time to do. Let's see. Oh, yes. Look at these horses. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, I love them. Oh, the bigger ones. Look at those. Wow. Love them, love them. One more package. One more package. It's sewn. Look at that. How'd you make this? That looks genius. I'm going to figure out how you made this. So I can make one myself. And again, full of these uh, beautiful horse stamps. Absolutely adore them. Oh, lovely. Thank you so much for your beautiful um, happy mail. I'm going to cherish everything. Oh, yeah. I, I, there's one more thing that I want to show you. Because, uh, you know, the packaging was lovely. And it came <laughs> with these washi tapes. Yes, Saskia took it off. <laughs> and I keep them on um, on these playing cards. So, thank you so much. Um, sweetheart, I love you. This was very unexpected and so, so nice for you. Thank you for the nice card and for the lovely gifts. Now, let's get to crafting. I took out one of the pages. I just cut it out with my sort of um, exacto knife, standing knife, however you want to call it. And they are sort of, I think, glued on here so when i cut these uh, two uh, three pieces i really need to cut in the middle of this glued strip otherwise one of the pockets will come undone and we don't want that so i'm gonna use my ruler sort of guesstimating the middle hopefully it'll work this time Well, there's one. Did the pocket hold? Let's see. Well, it did on both sides. Great. Uh, I have decided to do three separate ones. Why? Because it's going to be uh, three different colors. That is why. <laughs> I want, want to have a pocket for each sort of set. Did it hold? Yep. <laughs> Let's do it like this. Is it flapping? No. It held. So, I have three. These um, ends are not straight. So, I need to cut them straight. But I'm going to do that with my paper cutter. And also, the, there's a little bit of plastic sort of flap here. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with that. I think I'm going to cut it off. But I don't know for sure yet, because I don't know anything for sure, let's be honest. This looks sort of crooked to me. Is it straight-ish now? It's straight-ish. I'm not going to do exact measuring on here, because all the pockets will be um, separate. <coughs> I'm sorry, from each other, so it doesn't matter if one flap is a little bit bigger. Then the other one, just as long as it is straight, which this definitely isn't. A little bit more. So yeah, three sort of pocket thingies. Um, what am I going to do with this flap? I could sort of secure it with some washi. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely going to do that on both sides. Yeah, but for that, I need to sort of score it. I'm gonna fold it. Hopefully, it will sort of stay. Again, guys, not scripted. I have not tried anything like this. Oh, yeah, it sort of stays. Yep. And then on the other side, this will sort of uh, strengthen the. the entrance of the pocket so that's also actually a good thing to have a 
There you go. And then put some washi tape all over it. Am I? Yeah. I have washies. I have lots. What I want to do, guys, is make um, the, the pocket itself and the background sort of black and white-ish. Just, you know, simple. And then decorate it with the beautiful mushrooms and flowers and, and such. So I'm going to use black and white for this. I'm going to use a bigger one. Well, apparently I am. For those of you who are wondering, my parents arrived safely at their destinations. And no, uh, we did not fix the leak because um, we need to have a couple of dry days before we can do that. Um, so unfortunately, we still have the leak. But my ingenious construction is working. So there's no more water uh, on the floors or seeping uh, on the walls it is now falling into a bucket let's see let's have some scissors this won't uh, fit <laughs> why 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 well you know because because of yeah, I do like it. Do you like it? Yeah, so now it's a sort of a... It's already nice. So, done. Thank you very much for hanging out with me today. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'm going to have this on the inside. Because I want to fold this over to be a sort of a flap. And you can write on here what's inside. Or, you know, a little note. Yes. Uh, do you want to round the corners? Really? Yeah. That's the thing now. Rounding all the corners. There you go. Okie dokie. So what I want to do is put... I'm going to uh, start with black and white. I have these. These are beautiful stickers. Uh, but yeah, they're very, very shiny. Uh, they don't shine as much in real life, but with my lights on them and the camera, they're really, really, really shiny. Still, I would like to have them on acetate. I like it. I like it. Something that sort of sticks. I don't know which the front and which the back. Well, we'll find out soon enough. This is the front. And I've had these ones for a while. There you go. Well, I think when you put it on acetate, when it stick, when it sticks, it's stuck. <laughs> Is that a sentence? Well, it's going to be on there. I already love it. It's cute, right? Sometimes black and white can be sort of very, very cute. I... I'm going to have a closure on here as well. Yes, yes, already thought about it. So yeah, I'm going to have a... Well, no, I'm not going to have a flower on here because I want to put the rest of the flowers... No, I'm going to have a flower on there as well. Am I? No, I want to put the rest of the flowers in here. Don't worry, they won't fall out because I'm going to have a closure that goes all the way over it. Like so. Well, you cannot put them in all at once, love. Do they fit? <laughs> I have not tried this before. Some of them may be very long and won't fit. But we'll make it fit. There's a Dutch saying that says... Uh, wat niet rekt, dat scheurt. Which sort of translates, if it doesn't stretch, it will rip. I will need to have uh, probably tweezers to get these out. But hey, it's the idea that counts. Well, they won't fall out. So the stickers will be in here. And then I want to do some decorating here and here. And I want to make a card that goes in here. I already made a card for one of the other pockets that I was trying to figure out. Will that work? 
yeah see i want to have a card that goes in here with of course some nice sort of decorating on it and the tab yeah yeah all of that all of that great so the stickers are in this is on here i'm going to do the decorating and do a closure and decorate this card for the decorating i want to use um book pages that are more to the like the lighter sort almost white color with black and just some interesting backgrounds on them i have whole bunches of book pages but most of them are from antique books and that'll make for a more yellowish kind of um, color so i want to keep it as sort of light as possible so i'm gonna have a, a, a small ish sort of background on here i mean i do have some numbers here and we like that am i going to use um i'm going to use a tearing ruler for this one Just want to have a bit of a background. And probably going to put a label on it, of course. Let's open it up. I think that'll work better. With some numbers, I also have some sort of a script, of course, some text. Oh, I have some. Oh, yeah, let's have this. Yes, let's have this. Because of nice. <laughs> yes. This and this. I do want to use a label. Um, I've taken out some of my uh, Tracy labels. This is, I don't know the name of it. I'm sorry, I did not look it up. But this was a set that I printed out a couple of weeks ago. I forgot all about it because I put it in a separate a poster stamp album. Yeah. So yeah, the more you have, the more you forget you have. Something like this, maybe a piece of washi. I want to have it rather simple on here. Maybe one more piece of script just some normal text this is from a dictionary of course one more strip i am however going to have the strip behind here and then this and washi Or some stamping. We could do some stamping. This is AliExpress washi. Um, it's okay, I guess. Uh, but most of the time, when the washi have text, the text doesn't make any sense. Am I still sort of on camera? Yep. I have moved, guys. I have moved my desk from my normal spot because, well, because of the leak. <laughs> and there's more sunlight here in the summertime i want to have less sunlight because of warm uh, but now it's like let's have some more sunlight because it's getting colder um some of the black with the numbers sure but it looks nice now we have blue skies a little bit of clouds I hear birds chirping. It's almost like spring, but then not. Yeah, okay. Glue stuff on. I'm going to glue stuff on. Because you also need to make closure. Yes, thought about that one. Right, we're going to have this one here. Over here. And then this one here and this one here and then this one sort of over here i guess because the closure is also going to be sort of 
prominently there. I'm going to put the label on after I've made the closure because I really want to have that in the right spot. So let me tell you about the closure. So for the closure, I'm going to use black lace. Yes, um, but in a sort of special way. What I need to do is make sort of a slit here. Uh, there are, are these punches that make these sort of oval or rectangle slits. I don't have that one. I do, however, have this tiny, tiny die cut um, that can make that slit for me. So I'm going to use this. Yeah, I'm going to do that off camera because that is really, really boring. So I want to have that on here. So then the lace will go sort of like so. So what we're going to do with the label then. A little bit on the top or a little bit peeking behind the lace. Oh, yeah. Well, it, uh, we will lose number 53. But that's okay. Well, you know, I'm going to put on... The closure first and then we're gonna glue this one on so the slit is in i was sort of smart i put a piece of paper uh on the back because i also want to make a collage here and i didn't want to you know cut this out again okay this is going to be a sort of an un unusual closure i have a piece of lace yes i'm going to put it in uh, like so to this side yes then wrap this piece all the way around yes going back to the front again on the bottom and then i tie a bow on this bottom part it is going to be sort of a more decorative closure than really functional one but i really like the effect and it's something different to what i normally do see pretty little bow and then we have a perfect spot here for the label you could also flip this around have the bow on the top and do the label here i decided to do it that way and there you go and now for the label tada tada is that cute or what oh i like it and then there's a st another strip of uh, lace to this side yeah I think it's really, really great. Uh, we need to make we need to make a small collage here and then a card. I want to do a similar sort of collage on here with some other strips. I think might work really nicely. Again, this is um, dictionary paper. There you go. Do we want some washi? Like this. It's old washi because it's ripping. Little piece on the bottom. Sure, let's have some over here. And there you go. And this over here and another label. And maybe something on top. Let's have some over here as well. Yeah. Then a label here. Yep. See, black and white can be nice. There you go. And this one. Yep. Oops. Like this. Yes. Now let's make a card. For the cards, I have taken out one of these. Yes, this is a sketch pad. 
I will never do any sketching, but I am using all of these. So it's really nice paper and it's almost the same color, I guess, as the, the cards itself or the pockets itself. I cut it to size a little bit. I need to shorten it still, but uh, I also want to make a tap out of this. So I am just going to collage all over it, a full collage on here with, you know, black and white papers. That's my sort of go-to at the moment. There you go. And then I'm still thinking about a focal point on here. I have no clue. Why am I putting glue all over here? You just need a piece. Well, it'll be fine. You're going to flip it? No, I'm not going to flip it because I want this to be sort of a writing space, I guess. So instead, I'm going to cut it down. What else do we have? Well, we have more of these. I do want this edge to be ripped, I guess. But you have a deckled edge trimmer. I know, but this is quicker. There you go. What else do we have? I have some, um, I think this is Hebrew, but it's also a little bit see-through, see-through Hebrew. Yeah, well, so I just want a piece, I guess, over here. It's upside down. I see that now because I can read the numbers. I cannot read the letters. Okay. Okay. So this is going to be upside down. I am very sorry if you can read Hebrew and you're like, why'd you put it upside down? Because I'm not smart. <laughs> you know, that's just the whole thing. I'm not smart. I cannot read Hebrew. I probably also do that with uh, Chinese or Japanese paper. And there you go. Oh, there's some left over here. Yes, what else do we have? I have some more sort of numbery things. Oh, it's so nice just to rip things and then glue them on randomly. There you go. What is this? Piece of map. I'm not even using my tearing ruler for this. I'm just going to go with it. So there you go. One more piece. What will we use? What do we have left that we didn't use before? Oh, I could do this. Yeah, I'm just going to sort of fussy tear all around it. There's a little bit here showing, but that's okay because it's the exact same color. So I'm not going to bother with it. Nope. Yeah, so I need to take off a little bit. I'm going to take off a little bit from this side because I want to make a label here. Yeah, so how tall do we want it i'm gonna flip it over why because i need to cut from this side so i'm going to cut the card over there and 
and there you go. So this is going to be my card and I'm going to make a tap out of this. So with this, I'm going to round the corners first uh, with my seven millimeters, I guess. There you go. I'm going to have a label on here as sort of a focal point and I make a tap with this. And for that, I am using this one. I was really happy that I bought this one, but now that I'm working with it, it doesn't really work that well anymore. And I tried the sharpening uh, trick with aluminum foil and such, but no. Still, it's not really working how I want it to work. See? So this is going to go over here as a tap. Great. Label. We need a label. Oh, my desk is too small. Already told my husband, need a bigger desk. But you just got this one. Yeah, I know. But still, I need a bigger desk. Uh, what does this say? Department something? Or printing binding? Let's see, because this is going to go over here. Um, I do not want the label to compete with the flower. So it's going over here. For sure. And then here's my tab. Yep. Art. I need to use art for this because it's going to be pulled on. There you go. Is it too long now? Did I cut it too long? Will it even fit? No, it's great. It's great. Look. Yep. And then you take out the card. Cute, right? Yeah. I'm missing one small thing on here. Uh, let me get it. I think this needs a little bit of my favorite stamp. Yes, so I'm going to use that. And I'm going to use Hickory Smoke, hopefully, because I've had this for years, use it once or twice. So I have no clue if there's any sort of ink left on here. Hopefully there is. Let me just try it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, that will work. I'm not using black because I think that's going to be too dominant on here, even though it's all black and white. Uh, I'm going to use, that's why I'm going to use hickory smoke, sort of grayish color. Oh yeah, I like that. Just here and there. Here, there. And also here. And a bit there and there. Also going to do that on this card. Yeah. And then I want to put another small label here. I had just had it. Oh yeah, here. Because I think that will look nice with the flower on the pocket. I think. Do not know for sure, but I think it will. Specials, Spring 1917. The pockets are very tight. Can we spill, still move it? <laughs> Hopefully we can. Yes, because it's glue stick. Needs to be a little bit further. Yes, here. Because I want to see the label when I close this. See? Like so. 
Yes! I don't even know if we have time for another one. Let's just see. I do want to make the other two, but uh, I don't have a lot of time left. So I did some preparing. Yes, I already washi taped the pockets down, put all the stickers in. These are the mushrooms and these are the beautiful flowers. Then I picked this mushroom to be on the front and this flower to go over here. It's going to be lovely. And um, yeah, we need to do some more collaging, more decorating and a closure. I'm going to make a different closure on both of them. Sort of similar, but then different. So I'm going to put this one on here. Well, it's raining again. But also the sun is shining, so we should have a nice rainbow somewhere. There you go. Perfect. I'm going to do one at a time. One at a time. I already cut out some strips that I would like to use. I have this of a sort of a big church. It was Basil's um monster kirscher is like in germany probably basil is basil no it's switzerland basil is switzerland love is it could be mistaken but you're probably gonna you know or oh, his has baden <laughs> i really who cares han who cares as long as it is pretty and i think it is Ooh, no no Yes, I do believe Basel is in Switzerland. There you go. This one over here. Um, do we want some washi tape? And are we going to use blue? No, I'm going to use a beautiful blue um, label on here. So that's going to be sort of the blue part. I am, however, going to have a piece of this map. Because, love it. Yeah. It's upside down. Well, that's okay. It's like me giving directions to my husband. Which way? Right, left? I have a big problem with right and left. Most of the time people tell me, no, the other left. <laughs> Which means you're pointing right. Yeah. That's why I don't have my driver's license. Well, I think that's why I've never tried to get my driver's license. Really? You don't have a driver's license? You're the only person in the world who doesn't have one? No. I really am not, because both my parents don't have their driver's license. I'm going to have uh, flowers and feathers on here, because there's going to be flowers in here. Not feathers though, but flowers for sure. Yeah, so I grew up without a car. Doesn't mean to say that I don't like to be driven around in cars. I actually really, really do. Then let's do the other side. I have a piece of sort of numbers here. Let's do some numbers on here. I have some more map. Oh yeah, that'll look nice. Actually, this is um, Bergshoek and Roderijs. It's sort of nearby where, to where I live. There you go. And here it says Rotterdam West. West, West Side of <laughs> Rotterdam. We don't do that. And that's where I was born. Yep. Things are stuck to my fingers. Yeah. And we're going to have this over here. It says notes. Do we need another strip? We do. Of what? Oh, I have some sort of script text here. Yeah, 
that works well. Notes. There you go. Perfect. I'm going to make the holes for the closure in here and the card. I'm going to do some stamping. So the last piece of decorating I want to do with you guys. I made the card already, just the background. This stamp was already on there and I love it. So I want to do something on here. Um, we did this. I do think I want to add a little bit of the washi, just a tiny bit to, you know, just put some color in here. Just a piece here and there. I'll have it like so. Just a small strip. I'm not touching this bit here. No. Small strip here and oh, another strip here. I guess over there. Maybe a bit up here. Why not? Why not? And we do have more labels, so I could add another label. But let me first show you the closure that I have in mind for this one. I have blue rickrack. Yes, I'm going to put a part of it down here. I made two slots, one at the top and one at the bottom, uh, horizontally. So now... You can close it like so. It's a little bit difficult to tie a bow in Rick Rack, I can tell you. <laughs> but we're trying. See? Really cute. Mm, maybe I want to have another sort of small label there. But first, let's do the card. This is the card, and then this is the flower. And I think I want to have then the number one over here. On the bottom so that's going to be my number one flower there you go and let's the sunshine it's gonna go on the top you're gluing on your mat love yeah i know i can clean it and there you go and then we have one more that says july something let's have that over here Oh yeah, yeah, I think so. A little bit more blue up here. Yeah, so we have to untie this again. There you go, and then put this one in. Or, um, oh yeah, we need to do some more stamping. Do I have blue? Of course you have blue. You have lots of blue. I'm gonna use nautical blue for this. This one's letting go, you see that? I'm just gonna rip it because we can. And then have some more of the splattering here and there. Yep. Let's have something underneath because I do not want to stamp on my mat. There you go, some over here and on the bottom. Give me some here. Yep, perfect, perfect, perfect. It's gonna go in here. Now it says number four instead of number one. <laughs> it is lovely, yeah. I have another one. I have the red one. Let's do that one. Let's stamp off the blue ink first. There you go. So for the red one, I also uh, already made uh, the card that goes in here, like so. So do you want to have number one again? No, let's have this one over here. So I'm going to have that one on the bottom here. Yep. There you go. What we're going to have on top. Oh, we're going to have number one on top. Are we? Mm, 
Yeah, because I want to have this over there. There you go. And then the T for uh, toadstool. Toadstool! Yeah! On the bottom. And then we have one more over here. And I'm going to have that smack in the middle. Yeah, probably am. There you go. And then this one on the top. How much time do we have? Not a lot. Hurry, hurry, hurry. There you go. I'm going to do some stamping. Am I using Victorian velvet for this? Or... No, I think I'm going to use this one. That says... Fired brick. Fired brick. I think that'll be a nice color. Let's see. Is that a nice color? That's a fantastic color even. There you go. There you go. A little bit here. And then we're going to have some over here. And over there. And of course on the front. Over here. And over there. Great. Now for this closure. Yes. Um, I have this, which is gingham, and I love that. So I'm going to have this come through here. I made the slit uh, vertically this time. So it's going to close along this line. Actually, I'm sorry, I'm going to do it like so, the other way around, because I want to have the bow on this bit and not on the toadstool. See? Yeah. Perfect. Let's see the end result. Here they are. Lovely, right? Yeah, let's start with the black and white one. I know it's black and white and most of you will be like, well, boring, but I don't think so. I just find this to be very sort of luxurious and you know fancy it's fancy i really like it then in the back uh you have all the stickers so this is how i'm going to keep my stickers what i can also do is sort of without the closure have this into a signature yeah how will that work well let me open this up and like so so then you don't really need the closure and you're going to sew it in like so so you will have a pocket here and here and then sort of a flap here into a signature so yeah love that one then the blue one with the rig rack beautiful right yeah i have i've had uh, this is a vintage sort of spool with rig rack have orange and this however are you going to use it well like so so this is a different kind of closure with two slots on the top and the bottom and when you open it up, you have another beautiful card with the flower and the stickers. Love it. And then the last one, the red one, which oh, I do love it. It's two of my favorite things. Mushrooms and gingham in red. Yeah, I did put um, a little, uh, some little piece of a washi tape on here as well. Yeah, because, you know, I just like that. There you go. And some more washi tape here and there. Lovely. And then all, then all the mushrooms and toadstools in the back. Yeah. So what we did was we transformed this book, this photo album that I found for well, nearly nothing. It looks vintage to me, but this is obviously not really old. Uh, then you take one of these out, you cut them up and then you make these all sorts of lovely. So ladies, if you're in a thrift shop and you find this and you're like, what am I going to do with it? Pick it up because... You can make lovely things with this. I believe I paid a euro for this one or something. I don't even remember anymore. Yeah, I love them. Love them. Ladies, uh, it was so nice that uh, you could join me today and that I could join you. I was sort of really anxious to, you know, will we or won't we? But we did. Uh, and I'll be back again tomorrow because we cannot fix the, the leak for the next couple of days. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'll be back again tomorrow with another crafty video. See you then. Bye, guys.